friends welcome back to another vlog I know it's been a while perhaps even a couple of months since I've filmed a vlog I am vlogging this week and I'm really excited is the light very blown out you guys it's been crazy weather four seasons in one day I just went and got my coffee and had a little wonder but then it started to rain so I had to go back to my car and then the Sun came out again and now it's cloudy again so as I was saying I have a jam-packed week ahead so I thought what better time to film a vlog my schedule my content schedule is all lined up so I've got the time and you guys from Wednesday week so today is Sunday Wednesday week me my son and my parents are driving up to Queensland the Sunshine Coast to be specific because my brother is getting married again yep he is brave enough or should I say crazy enough brave enough to attempt marriage for the second time round he's braver than me I'll tell you that so I am thrilled for him and Kylene his bride and I'm so looking forward to the wedding the trip we're staying up there a whole week the weddings the Sunday following the Wednesday we get there and so yeah I've got a lot of organization to do a lot of planning to do a lot of running around and getting errands done before we leave so I hope you guys are ready for a jam-packed vlog I have some unboxing I want to do that's how I want to start off this vlog when this brand reached out to me S D I'd never heard of them before I don't know maybe you guys have but I have not and they reached out asking if I would kindly take a look at their website and see if anything appealed to me and if it did they would gladly send over a few pieces for me to try on review and share my thoughts so I was very intrigued I went online checked them out and would you believe my friends they have only one store location and have a guess where that store is located Paris Paris it was meant to be as soon as I saw that I thought yes I hardly ever accept any clothing collaborations because I just don't identify with the brands that have reached out but this brand when I saw their clothing it's just so me it's so me it's just a little bit vintage a little bit unexpected a little bit edgy a little bit tomboy all the vibes that are 100% my personal style so I haven't opened it yet I was dying to open this package my friends but I wanted you guys to get a true authentic reaction of what I think so let's see what they sent me okay I see something that I recognize already oh my god I love it 
I'm going to try them all on for you and hopefully I can create outfits with what they've sent me. Oh my God, I love that. Oh my God, this is just beautiful. This is gorgeous. I'm just thrilled so far. I am thrilled, I am thrilled, I am thrilled. Oh my God, you guys, they sent me another dress that I was in love with. I am so impressed. I think this is that gorgeous skirt that I fell in love with. Can you imagine if they invite me to their Paris store one day? Okay, I love that. Wow, you guys, I am just overwhelmed at the moment. Let's do the try on. My friends, I've tried everything on and I have one word, stunning. Simply stunning. By the way, I changed my camera because my vlog camera was just washing everything out. So I'm filming with my DSLR. Okay, before we get into the items, I wanna tell you guys that I ordered all these pieces in a medium. They did mention that their sizing runs small. However, if oversized, is mentioned in the description of an item, then stick to your normal size because there are a couple of pieces that I could have gotten away with a small, but they still look amazing. This t-shirt was the first item that caught my eye on the website. And you can't really call it a t-shirt, can you? Because it's just so much more than that. It's absolutely stunning. The fabric is so soft. It's a gorgeous high neck and you know when it comes to t-shirts, well, nearly all of my clothing. I love a high neck and this sleeve. I'm all about a statement sleeve and this ruffle sleeve to me is just so unexpected, so romantic. I don't know, it's edgy and romantic at the same time. And the juxtaposition of that is just, it's just perfection to me, pure perfection. So they had this t-shirt styled with a different skirt than the one I'm about to show you. That one was gorgeous. But my friends, when I saw this skirt, I just thought, oh my God, that is so stunning. I have never seen anything like it. I just love this utility vibe, but it's also edgy. So a high waist and the buckle closure on the side. So these buttons are actually functional. I love this huge cargo pocket on this side. And then there's another one on the other side as well. And then this panel is what creates that asymmetrical hemline. And you can see it from the back as well. So I just loved it on. The fabric is very sturdy and tough, but so flattering. So it just flattens any kind of bumps. It just, it's so flattering you guys. And together, I just thought it made such a beautiful outfit. Such a beautiful outfit. I loved the way it looked with my Western boots, but I would also wear under the knee boots with this or even white sneakers or a loafer. And I'm gonna wear this separately with jeans, a denim skirt, denim shorts, and also wear this separately with a beautiful blouse or knit. There are just so many ways you can wear both of these pieces, so unique, so unexpected, I just absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. So I chose this skirt because, what can I say you guys? I am obsessed with plaid. I love it, especially in the winter time. These pieces do reflect the season that I'm in at the moment, autumn, winter, and they were kind enough to take that into consideration when they sent over these pieces. This skirt, I mean, it looks like a Scottish kilt, doesn't it? But it's so modern and edgy and this silhouette, I love this buckle detail on the side and these buttons at the front just add, you know, a point of difference, a point of interest to the skirt. This silhouette is so flattering. It's girly but edgy at the same time. I mean, they've just encapsulated everything that I look for in an outfit, and that is juxtaposition. And I thought it looked so cute with the white tee, so cute, and the Western boots, but of course I can wear this skirt with absolutely anything. And I'm thinking a black blazer and some loafers, how cute would that look? I just love this colorway. That is why I can just wear this with anything, even a pop of color if I didn't want to be monochromatic. It's just stunning and I am in love with it. And this is the next piece. I absolutely love this sweat top, but it's not really just a sweat top. 
It's so much more than that. You guys know that I'm really into a sporty vibe, but I also don't want to look like I've just come back from the gym. I want my sportswear, my leisure wear to look really cool, but really elevated as well. So it has a really relaxed vibe. The top half is in a sweat type material. And then the bottom half, it's kind of thick and sturdy and it's easy to steam because I did lightly steam these pieces. So again, you have an asymmetrical hem and it kind of tapers a little bit. It's so easy to tuck in. There's no bulges, there's no wrinkles, but if you are not one who tucks things in like me, it looks great, just worn out, loose like that. So on one side, you have a kind of dolman sleeve. And then on the other side, you have this very interesting cutout, interesting and sexy and edgy cutout. And then it has this tab detail. It's such a deconstructed piece that is so well thought out and designed. I just absolutely love it. I thought it looked great with my jeans and trainers. I can dress it even more down if I wanted to with a black pair of sweatpants and some slides, or I can dress it up. Throw over a blazer, a pair of loafers, a gorgeous bag. Look at this amazing coat, you guys. I have never seen a coat with a hoodie in the same fabric. I thought it was absolutely stunning i know i'm using the same words over and over but really what other words are there my friends what what other words are there of course i'm obsessed with it because it's in a gorgeous plaid right it's a full length coat it is double breasted so you have these buttons it also has a tie it looks so chic cinched in but it looks equally amazing just worn open and loose and of course you have the discreet pockets. And I love the way it looked thrown over that sweat top. I thought it looked absolutely gorgeous. It is the silhouette of this coat that I think just makes it so different. It's so cozy and warm because it is a wool coat. And you guys, you will not believe how affordable everything is. You're probably thinking, wow, this is just so expensive because of the craftsmanship and the quality of the pieces, the fabrics, but it is so affordable. That is what just blows me away about this brand. So needless to say, I'm obsessed with this coat. I'm going to be wearing it so much. The only thing is I can't begin to wear these things until this video goes live because I don't want you guys to see it before this video. So I have to just wait. But oh my God, I can't wait to wear it. It's stunning. So this piece is very true to my personal style. I love layering and my friends, they have done all the work for you. This brand is so clever and the sun has gone. Hopefully the lighting is still okay. All right. So we have again, a beautiful high neck. The knitted part of this top is ribbed. The knitted section is sewn on to the top, right? But then you have this extra bit of knit that kind of juts out and creates such a flattering shape. And it's also done a little bit at the front as well. And then we have a gorgeous wide sleeve. The flannel part of the top has functional buttons that you can undo if you like, which makes it look like you are actually wearing three pieces. So you've got this part that goes up, then you've got the flannel, and then you've got the white shirt underneath that also has functional buttons that you can undo. It's so well thought out. You can dress it up or down. I loved it with my jeans and loafers. I could even have thrown over that gorgeous plaid coat for another layer. How interesting. It looks like you're wearing four layers, but they all work beautifully together. I could have gone for a small in this. The medium still worked, but it is oversized and a small would have worked also. I think this is a very chic and effortless piece. Let's take a moment for this dress. Do you see the details on this dress? I'm telling you when I saw it online, I swooned. I swooned over this dress because to me, it's poetry in motion. It really is. This dress is so romantic, so demure, so Chanel vibes. I just am completely in love with it. I love this high collared neck, absolutely stunning. This see-through organza fabric on the shoulders, but then you have this 
utterly romantic sleeve in the lace that falls off the shoulder, shows a little bit of skin. It's just a little bit of sexy. So these buttons down the front are functional and that is how you get into this dress. I guess you don't have to wear the dress buttoned all the way up to the collar, but for me, that is the only way to wear this dress. And it cinches in at the waist with these ties that are on either side and then falls into a skirt, a midi skirt. If you are not one who likes things cinched in, you can just leave it relaxed and it's gonna look just as beautiful. The booties that I wore in the try-on, I think looked so beautiful. They're very, again, demure and ladylike. And I love the contrasting color against the black of the dress, but you could wear loafers to dress it down. You could wear an under the knee boot to dress it down like a flat kind of riding boot style. I just loved it on. I think it's such a beautiful dress and I have nothing like it in my wardrobe. And this to me is a very timeless piece. This is a forever piece. It'll be in my wardrobe till I'm 90. The final piece is this work of art. Look at this dress. It's just, it blew me away, you guys. Okay. Let me begin with the layering effect again. I just love a white button up shirt layered underneath a strapless top. I've always loved that. What this brand has done has managed to style it in a dress form. The camera finds it hard to pick up on black, but hopefully you can see this origami detail on the strapless part of this dress. It's, it's so stunning, it's so flattering, especially cinched in with this D-ring belt. And then it kind of creates this pleated effect. You have this oversized white shirt layered underneath with this balloon sleeve. It's, it's just wow. So the buttons at the front are functional, of course. And again, that is how you get into this dress. This fabric of the dress is, I don't even know how to explain it. It's thick and textured and malleable while still creating this silhouette of the skirt. Like I said, this is simply a work of art. And when I saw it on the model, I just, I was wowed. I was wowed, I was wowed. Wow, you guys, eight pieces in total and I loved every single one, every single one. I can't wait to start wearing them. I wanna say a big thank you to the S-D-E-E-R team for this wonderful opportunity. I am so grateful. I also want to thank them for the discount code that they've given me to share with you guys. You get 15% off site-wide and 20% off if you spend over $1.99. You will not be disappointed, my friends. I promise you, I would not lead you astray. I never have, I never will. I 100% recommend this brand, amazing. Okay, so before we get into my other unboxing, I need to go and eat because I am starving and then, yeah, we'll do, we'll do a little unboxing. All right, you guys, I just took Gabe to the gym. I'm picking him up at 2.30 and I still have not eaten yet. So I'm gonna make a porridge bowl I'm pretty sure I've shown you guys this recipe in my last vlog. And that, my friends, is a delicious porridge bowl. Okay, I've got about 15 minutes till I pick up Gabe, so I wanna do the unboxing with you guys, but do you see my, my tripod right in front of a window? This is the camera I was using just before, and this is my vlog camera. I'm facing the window now, so whenever you see a bad picture of yourself, you guys, it's probably because it's bad lighting. Always face a window, always, because this is, this is good lighting, right? This is bad lighting. Do you see what I mean, my friends? So when you're taking a photo, make sure you're facing the light. If you're outside, make sure you're facing the sun, the light, and you will look so much better, trust me. Trust me, it's all about lighting. I think I'm just gonna use this camera to show you guys my unboxing. The weather has done a complete 180. Does that happen where you guys live? Unboxing time. I received this bag, it is a bag, from this brand that I've never heard of before. Is it Minoi, Minui, Minuai? 
M-I-N-O-O-Y. But let me tell you, they make beautiful leather bags. And I would say that they are geared more towards the girl on the go, the girl who loves to travel and has a busy life, that kind of thing. So they're, they're very stylish, but they're also very functional. They also have a wide range to choose from and in an array of colors, just beautiful colors. Your standard neutrals, but they also have pops of color as well. I love when brands do this. They have a magnetic closure on the box. And so I have opened this box up before you guys. I know what's in here, but I wanted to give you guys the experience. So yeah, it comes in a dust bag and there is a note and I think they left me a discount code for you guys. How nice of them. I will leave that in the description box for you guys. So here is the bag. It's a beautiful stone blue. And for me, this is a neutral. This color will work back with, I dare to say it, but almost anything in your wardrobe. You wouldn't think so, but trust me, it does. So you guys know I love a small bag. I love crossbody bags, top handle bags. So this bag is, oh God, I've still got my other bag on from when I went to take Gabe to the gym. Let me take this off. That is not a good look, wearing two bags. But it is a trend, isn't it, at the moment? Girls are wearing two bags at once. Okay, so it's so gorgeous. It's full grain leather, it smells amazing, and it's got gold hardware. Let's talk about the compartments. So the main compartment has a double zip closure, which I absolutely love. Because when it's only one zip, you guys, you have to, it's so fiddly. So you have your main compartment, which is quite roomy. On this side of the bag, you have another little pocket with a magnetic closure. I was thinking I could put my sunglasses and my prescription glasses in there and that would keep them safe. It's lined in a beautiful suede and canvas. On the other side, you have a zip compartment and you have some card slots and also another compartment behind there. So functional, and so clever. I'd probably put my medication in here because I always have to have it with me, but I don't like it cluttering my bag. If I put it in there, it's hidden away. Then you have this pocket in the back, which is just so good to put your phone, you know, easy to reach. You don't have to open up your whole bag to get the phone and it's nice and safe in there. It's deep enough and wide enough. Then at the front, is this buckle detail. You don't have to actually undo this to get inside this compartment of the bag. It actually opens like that. So again, a double zip closure that opens up, you guys, to a freaking built-in wallet. Can you believe that? That is so cool. So you have extra card slots for credit cards and any other cards you may need. When I travel, I end up with a lot of cards from boutiques, restaurants, hotels, cards that I wanna keep for future reference, and that is just a great way to store them. You have more on the other side as well. And you have a zip compartment here for your coins and your notes. On the other side, there is a pocket to put any important documents like your passport or any kind of documents that you need to carry with you. This side is partially lined in the leather as well. Not only is this bag so beautifully made, the craftsmanship is amazing, it's so gorgeous. It's gorgeous to look at. And most importantly, it's so functional. This is a great bag for travel. And I intend to take this with me when I travel to Europe this year with my son. We're hoping to go to Greece and Cyprus. So this bag I think is ideal for an everyday bag when I'm out and about being a traveler. It's also very secure so no one can pickpocket you or reach in and grab anything. It's very soft leather, I might add. And the crossbody strap is adjustable. And I just think it's gorgeous. I mean, it looks amazing with the outfit that I have on now. I just love it. So thank you to the Minui, Minui, Minui team for my beautiful bag. I love it. And with that, we're gonna go pick up Gabe.
How was it? All right. What did you do today? Chest and tries. Say hi to the vlog. Hello. Why are you being weird? I'm not. You're being weird. I'm not. Focus on driving. Okay. All right, you guys, I'm back. I need to do some tidying up of my bedroom. I just want to put away all my clothes and just set things right because I'm going to start editing and I'll probably be editing for the rest of the afternoon and evening. But before I do that, I want to show you guys the dress that I got for the wedding. So this is the dress. Why is it blowing? There we go. So I got this dress from the DFO outlets. It's from the boutique Chic. So I went in there with my cousin. She saw this dress first actually because I just wasn't planning on wearing a print. I had something else in mind. I'm not really into prints and color at the moment. But she showed me this dress and I thought mm, I'll just try it on. And when I tried it on, I just fell in love. So it's got a beautiful romantic teared skirt and then it's a halter neckline which ties in the back and I think it's just perfect for the occasion romantic and just gorgeous so I'm not sure what the weather's going to be like we are in autumn but it, it's always warm in Queensland so I need a cover up and I was thinking could perhaps wear this pashmina but I don't think it's going to be the right color is there any blue in this dress no it clashes so that is not going to work I do have another one that I think might work but I've packed it away with my summer stuff I'll just get it no I don't think this is going to work either you guys it's not right. And then I have a pink one. I have a pink one also, but I'm pretty sure the pink is not the right pink for this dress. But no, that is totally, totally wrong. Oh, I have to look for the pink one now. So let me see if I can find the pink one. And just maybe with any luck, it may be the right tone of pink. Oh no. Oh no, I was way off. What am I thinking? This is not going to do. No, no, it doesn't work. Even the pinkiest pink in the print. Can you see that there? I'll put it up close. See, it's just, it's too much, I think. Or is it? Look, it may just work and because you know, it's kind of an in case of emergency piece because I don't think I'm going to need it. Just in case I get chilly, I can throw this on over my shoulders. So that and that, and I'll show you what shoes I'm going to wear with it. So I'm going to wear, where are they? These shoes. Well, maybe the gold is too much. Should I wear the gold? I think the gold is too much because it's a daytime wedding. I think I need to go for my other heels that are in the nude suede. Even though they're high and uncomfortable, I think I'm going to have to grin and bear it for the wedding. Because, dare I say it, oh my god, that is perfection. That is Perfection. So it's these shoes, the dress, the pashmina, and accessories. I'll figure out. Oh God, it's gone all blurry. My God, I am going to need a new vlogging camera. This one's about to die. I have dropped it so many times, you guys. I am surprised that it's still alive. I need a new vlogging camera, but... That's my wedding outfit, not my wedding, my brother's wedding. I'm just going to tidy up so I can get stuck into my editing. Honey, honey, I got what you want. Give me all your love, it's burning hot. It's what you do to me, babe, I can guarantee. Honey, honey, I got what you need. I want your eyes so long 
I've got a few things that I got to take over into the studio room. This skirt I love, but it's quite summery and we're going into really cool weather now, so I can put that away. This skirt, I tried to style it yesterday, or was it the day before? Anyway, I wanted to wear it. It's way too tight. It's just, it doesn't even meet. Did you guys know this trick? I've mentioned it before in my thrift with me. If you're unsure about whether to try something on, if you're looking at different sizes and you're not sure, if the waistband fits around your neck and just meets, it'll fit you. If it doesn't meet, it's too small. And if it overlaps, it's too big. And this doesn't quite meet. So it is a correct way to check if something is gonna fit you on the bottom without actually trying it on. I'm obsessed with these pants. They were an amazing vintage find, but they don't fit. I just squeeze into them and I'm, I'm so uncomfortable. So I've got to sell those. This skirt I did wear, I wore and styled it up and photographed it. But this silhouette, this kind of maxi skirt, doesn't really suit me. I prefer a pleated skirt, a flared skirt, this just, I felt kind of dowdy in it, even though it's got pockets and it's in a plaid and it's so cool. I don't think it suits my frame. So I have to sell that. And these are my gorgeous wide leg pants that I don't think I'll be wearing until next summer again. So I'll put those away as well. my friends it is so late it's midday midday on a Monday and I haven't even left the house yet I still have orders I need to pack I still yeah I just got to pack some orders then I can go get my coffee then I have an appointment at 2 45 to get my eyes checked I was editing last night so late I think I went to sleep about 4 a.m. And that is why I am running late today. I got up at 10.30, so I still had some sleep. But I'm paying for it today because I'm really sore. But I have a lot to do, so yes. I just have to pack my bag and go pack my parcels. And then we can be off. And I need a coffee. I need a coffee stat. So, and glasses that. I wanted to wear this today. I put it on and it's just too snug. I can't breathe in it. It's just too snug and I love it so much. So I have to sell it. Okay, all right, let's go pack some orders.
I've arrived at the shopping center. I'm a little early. It's half past two. My appointment's at quarter to three. I'm also getting new glasses. So I need a new prescription and then I can get two new frames because Specsavers are having a deal at the moment where you get two frames for $1.99. So this is a great time to get a new script because my, my sight's just going. Even with glasses, I sometimes have to squint. So yeah, I love this shape though. So I'm hoping that I get something similar to this because I really love this. I may just pop into Kmart after my appointment and have a look. I also want to look at some storage solutions for my jewelry. I want all my Ana Luisa jewelry together because I love it so much and I, I wear it all the time. So I want to have it all together so I'm not constantly looking at different places to put it on. But this is Ana Luisa and I love it. I'll just, I like it when it's kind of really tight on the neck. But it kind of matches my antique ring, doesn't it? Oh, I didn't mean to. No, I didn't mean to do that to you guys. All right, let's just go in and start looking at the frames and we'll go from there. like these. These are nice. <laughs> so I've decided on the same pair again but with anti-reflection and then I went for these ones which are the titanium and they're so light. Okay going into Kmart. Okay, so here's all the jewelry storage, but I'm not really, that's too small. This one might do. Yes, this one is good. I've run out of my espresso martini candle and I get it from here, from Kmart. It's absolutely delicious, but I can't find it. Unless they've changed the packaging. Oh, that's cute. What's this? That's pretty. Grapefruit and patchouli. Patchouli is one of my favorite scents. Oh, hold on. Almond latte. Oh, here it is. I found it. I found it. They've changed the packaging. So, espresso martini. I am telling you guys, this smells divine. Yep, it smells the same. So, I'm getting that. Okay, I'm over in the makeup section at the Elf little bar. I'm actually after their dual ended brush but they never have it so I might have to get it online it's kind of like a foundation brush and concealer brush in one I was actually looking at these cream eyeshadows the other day because I love lilac so much I thought this might look really pretty on my lid when I'm wearing my lilac you know tops I don't know it's $14 you know for drugstore or chemist brand makeup, $14 for just one eyeshadow is not really all that cheap. They've got this, uh, what color is this? Sand Dune, and this looks pretty too, Canton. I am tempted to get all three, but I'm not a big eyeshadow wearer. I just add whatever blush I'm wearing onto my eyes. That's, you know, that's as far as I go, but I wanna try this. Should I get it? I'm gonna get it. I'll go and pay for these. It's four o'clock. Where has the day gone, my friends? I still haven't taken my outfit photo yet so i'm going to go take my outfit photo and then i will head home and eat lunch at probably 4 30. okay
Good morning, you guys. Well, it's not even morning, actually. It's 12.38, midday. Would you believe I got out of the house not long ago? It was around 10 past 12. You know, I've been staying up late editing, and so I sleep in and start my day late. Uh, I just, I need to switch off, you know, at about 10, 10.30. I just need to switch off and then just relax so I can wind down and sleep because this is just crazy. I did not pick up the camera yesterday because yesterday was Anzac Day and that is a public holiday here in Australia. And so I, I didn't pick up the camera at all. I was just at home, just, you know, resting, doing a little bit of admin work. I'm always working. I'm never not working. Okay, I have just posted off an item. I'm now going to go and look into maybe just one op shop because it's quarter to one and this op shop shuts at two o'clock. So I'll have a quick look in there. I want to go for a walk. I want to take my picture. I have to go and get some toiletries from the supermarket. So we've got a few things to do and I don't know why I'm just sitting here rambling when I could be driving and talking to you guys at the same time. So I also wanted to let you guys know, okay, I am just so overwhelmed with the response from my last video, which went up on Friday, today's Wednesday. It was the style at 50, looking stylish in your 50s. And it just resonated with so many of you. And I'm just, oh, I'm so grateful. You know, it was such a warm reception. I got a lot of new subscribers from that video. Hopefully they'll stick around. You might get a lot of subscribers from one video and then after that video, because it's not the same content or it's not along the same lines of what you just posted, they will unsubscribe. And it's, it, oh God, it crushes me, you guys, because I've been doing this for five years. I've been doing this YouTube thing for five years and I've only just recently felt that I'm ready to just not do any other job because I've always worked two jobs and just focus on this 100% and you know I'm not earning enough money yet like a full-time income but because of my health and COVID and just the way things naturally unfolded I just feel that now is the time to focus 100% on my channel and you know and that's what I'm doing it's it's risky because you know I'm not earning like I said enough money yet and I'm using my savings but I do live at home with my parents and I'm very blessed for that I don't have a mortgage I don't have you know utility bills and all that stuff but I'm just hoping that you know my YouTube channel just gains some traction, more traction than it ever has, hopefully from this video. And I grow because it's been a very gradual growth. I know it's a very niche channel because of my age and what, I, what my content's about, but I just really, really hope and pray that it all turns around for me soon because it's been five years and my heart is just in it, 100%. It always has been. Even when I was doing two jobs, I was using this platform as though I was already at, you know, thousands of subscribers and it was my full-time job. I just totally committed. I gave it my all and I've worked myself to death. And I'm not exaggerating you guys. I am so driven. I have this dream to, to work for myself, to be a creator, to inspire women, to travel and have this wonderful life and not have to work for anybody else because I'm, I'm, I'm working at a job, at a career that is my life essentially. So I hope that this is the year that you know it all turns around for me I kind of think that when you make brave decisions 
the universe rewards you well I certainly feel that way and let me tell you doing this full-time while not earning a full-time income is a risk you know I'm a single mum and for the most part I'm a single mum raising my kid all on my own you know I've worked so hard and I know that if you work hard at something and you put your mind to it there is nothing that is impossible you know nobody knows what you're capable of except you so if you have something in you that needs to be expressed if you have a passion that you want to follow if you're miserable getting up every day going to your job it's never too late my friends it is never too late I'm 51 I started my YouTube channel when I was 46 it's never too late I just want this whole ageist mentality to just not exist when it comes to women of a certain age mature mature women so okay I'm I'm here now so I think I'll go to the op shop first and then we'll go and pick up some stuff that I need bowl for lunch and then I did my Instagram content I was just about to put my little bits and bobs away but then I thought why don't I do a little haul and show you guys what I got I showed you guys this hat but I'll show you again isn't that just so gorgeous I love the colors in this houndstooth this is vintage as well it says Luton International that was five dollars I should probably include that in a vintage haul. Okay, so in Coles, I got men's deodorants for Gabriel. I got a body wash, Nivea coconut and jojoba oil. I got some cotton wool tips for my makeup. I got some extra spearmint gum, gum for Gabe. I got some face wipes, makeup wipes, and I got this Colgate Optic White. Removes 15 years of stains, 80 grams for $20, my friends. And look at this packaging. Is this necessary? It's such a waste. $20 for a freaking toothpaste is ridiculous. And so that's the size of it in all that packaging. What a waste. I got that for 10 instead of 20 and that was it in Coles and then a couple of days ago we were in Kmart and I got this jewelry organizer I'm going to reorganize all my jewelry I ended up getting of course my favorite candle and I ended up getting the lilac eyeshadow which I should try tomorrow with a lilac shirt I'm glad everything managed to fit. So I've got necklaces and belts and more necklaces and belts. Over here I've got my watches because I wear them every day. I've got the boho jewelry underneath. And then here I have my beautiful 
Ana Luisa jewellery tray and then underneath the other two little trays of jewellery and I am happy with that. Good morning to you my sweet friends. It's Thursday today, Thursday and I've already left the house. I went and posted another package. I went and got my coffee. I've got a little bit left. And guess what? I forgot my camera. So I'm filming with my iPhone today. But I will tell you guys, the camera on the 14 Pro, it's sometimes better than my Canon vlogging camera. So right now I am parked outside my little church op shop. I'm going to go and have a little look in there and then I'm going to go to a cafe and start editing this vlog. Okay, yes, yesterday I left you guys after that little haul. So I didn't pick up the camera again because my dad needed me for something. So I helped him out with some stuff on the computer. And then it was dinner time and I had a chicken salad which was delicious. And then I just was editing this vlog in my room and I'm telling you guys, it's over an hour and I'm not even sure if I should be vlogging today. I mean, that's ridiculous. A vlog that goes over an hour, who's gonna wanna watch that? You guys gotta let me know what you want with the vlogs. I'm rambling again. I have some content I have to shoot. Zip it, Joe. Let's go in the op shop and see what I find. Do you like my little outfit today? I feel like a fancy lady. I'm channeling my inner, my inner what? Businesswoman? No. My, my inner fancy lady. Look at these little cute shoes. The little kitten heel. These are going to be perfect for my mum for the wedding. She's been looking for shoes and she hasn't been able to find any. She was going to wear some flat ones, but I'm going to get her these because I think they're perfect. They've got a little silver heel. The dress is silver, a little bit of sparkle. So cute. So now I think I better go get some work done. And which cafe should I go to? I think I'll go to Nora Head today. So I'll see you guys there. I need to do. I also have to put dinner on. I'm cooking spaghetti bolognese tonight and I don't know if you've noticed but I do have on that lilac eyeshadow. I'm wearing navy, not lilac, but I do love navy and lilac together. They're just a perfect, perfect combination. Now this cream eyeshadow is called No Budge Cream Eyeshadow and let me tell you it lives up to its title. You don't have much time to work with it to blend it out so you know, you've got to be quick, whether you're applying it with your, your fingertips or a brush, you need to work fast and then you can build it up if you want. Okay, so I'm going to go take my content and I'll be back. <music> Peanuts, roasted peanuts, more olive sticks. Look at all that. And my sauce is bubbling away. This is what I'm gonna have because it's too close to dinner and I don't wanna spoil my appetite. This is a pomegranate. So these pomegranates are from my godparents' house. They have a tree and he sent us so many. Full of it. Yeah. Say hello to the vlog, Mum. Hello there. Welcome to our kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> Say hello to the vlog, Dad. It's beer time. Beer time for my dad. Bye. <laughs>
my gosh. It is gonna be 25 degrees, my friends. Summer is back and I'm dressed for it. Luckily I had this outfit in my current wardrobe. So, good morning. Good morning to you guys. I am late once again. I was up editing really late and I went to bed late because I need to wind down with some reality TV. I didn't get to bed till after 2 a.m. I'm leaving the house at 12.21, my friends. 12.21. I'm going to stop and get my coffee, drop off the parcel, and then I am going up shopping. So I managed to find a couple of pieces and I filmed a shorts video. So now my friends, I'm gonna go shoot my outfit, go for a walk, then head home because I have to take Gabriel to work. And I also got a package this morning. So we'll go and see what that is. You guys let's open up this package it's half past three by the way and I still have not had lunch you guys when brands reach out wanting to send me something or to collaborate with me it still feels so surreal oh my god this is this is so cute I'm gonna try it on for you but we have a cute sweatsuit in this gorgeous cream color i love it it's like a latte color so there are the pants they have pockets the pockets weren't even open you guys so already i can see that this is just quality it's beautiful craftsmanship this brand is called silver wind and they are a small business that do active wear leisure wear some swimsuits as well in the UK and I can see like it's got that beautiful terry terry cloth lining because I just cannot do fleece you guys I love the elastic hems as well so that's the bottom and the top to match oh wow this is really cute so it's a sloppy joe you can wear this kind of open if you like or have it buttoned up and closed which is probably how i would wear it gorgeous wide sleeve with ribbed cuffs a ribbed hem also and i love this detail in the back you know i'm all about the details and when brands just go that extra mile with their clothing and add little details it just makes all the difference to me so that is stunning i'm going to try that on and look, they even sent me a very cute scrunchie in the same colors for my hair. That is so sweet of them. So I'm gonna put this on and show you how it looks. I have it on and it's so gorgeous, you guys. It's a beautiful, beautiful sweatsuit. Like the quality is amazing. I love the sleeves. I did size up. So both of these pieces are in a medium. And they're a sustainable brand as well, you guys. So, you know, 100% organic cotton. And it's just a really relaxed vibe. And I've got the little scrunchie in my hair as well. They have so much more on their website. More active gear like bike shorts and leggings and little racer back tank tops and that kind of thing. But I'm not a gym person. So this, for me, is going to work into my lifestyle. I would throw on a trench coat and a cute pair of sneakers. Actually, I have to I have to do that. Okay, you guys, I've styled it up for you. What do you think? This is 100% my lifestyle, this vibe. I love it. 
dress it dresses it up doesn't it the the trench coat and the cap and I'll give you a full look actually what do you think it's it's just beautifully made I love that it's organic cotton a hundred percent organic cotton I've just tucked it in a little bit over this side to show off the branding let the cuffs out a little bit I love the colors it's all kind of tonal and the sneakers have a gum sole so you know it ties in with the whole latte color my New York cap I'm very impressed once again silver wind awesome I love this so yeah I could have gotten away with the small but because I love everything oversized the medium 100% works and especially with bottoms when they're an elastic waist I can't handle it if it's tight I just do not like that look at all and it fits me on the waist so comfortably and I'm not bulging out of it if you know what I mean all this needs is a nice steam and some cold weather I need some cold weather so I can start wearing my cozy outfits I love this thank you so much Silverwind this is gorgeous and my little scrunchie I love that so kind but my friends I'm gonna call it this is a wrap on this vlog I have it's just well over an hour I hope you guys enjoy it and find it entertaining and not boring don't forget to check out the description box for the links to S D E E R. I'm going to leave a link to the Silver Wind website in the description box as well and a link to my two pieces because they are just gorgeous. Thank you so much to the Silver Wind team for my tracksuit because I absolutely love it. I do love it so much and I guess my friends that is definitely a wrap. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. It means the world to me. And so I guess it's au revoir until next time. Bye.